Hi everyone and welcome to today's Drama Hospital recap slash reaction. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or reactions. Not gonna lie, today was like a kind of really flat line day on Drama Hospital, so let's just kind of, let's just, you know, extract what we can from the episode. So it starts out and we're faced with a huge question. Will Sunny let Avery go to the memorial? And Sunny, after some back and forth, does agree to let Morgan bring uh, Avery to Ava's fu um, memorial, not funeral. And uh, at the courthouse, Julian confronts Michael, and Michael goes into hyperdrive, bringing up how, like, Julian got Alexis's house torched and Danny could have been in the house and that he's trying to protect Avery from things like that and in my opinion it kind of backfired on Julian a bit and you know it makes me sad that Julian and Sunny are going to be on opposite sides again you know I really miss like I, I love them as besties and by besties I mean like you know a mob alliance but honestly besties just kind of just kind of incorporates it a lot better Oh, and Julian, like, thanks Sonny for getting to the Haunted Star and saving uh, Lucas and everyone and everyone. Uh, Julian's also convinced that Sonny's going to come back into the mob and that when the custody battles, battle is over, and I think knowing Sonny, like, he's definitely going to do that. As much as he said he's not going to do that, like, Michael's right about him. He wants power and influence, and that's how he gains power and influence. And how long can he keep, you know, Duke on the reins? And uh, Michael and Rick get into a shouting match that Rick incites, and Rick is trying to convince Michael to drop the suit. And Michael just, like, throws Rick's past in his face. And Rick's like, no, this isn't about my past. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure when you've done such illegal things, it's always about your past. And Alexis also takes Michael's side to, like, borderline convince Michael to drop the suit. And, you know, advising him as a lawyer. And, like, Michael's not going to drop the suit. And telling him that he should probably drop the suit is just going to make him not want to drop the suit more. So... I really don't understand, like, the motivation behind that. And now the judge, plot twist, the judge presiding is now Judge Walters, which we know, you know, the, uh, oh, we know what kind of, what he leans towards, and he's dating Monica, and Monica's a quarter main. Oh my goodness, like, epiphany right here, yeah. Yeah, Michael's definitely getting custody of Avery, no question. And Michael has a bit of a smile on his face, although I said her face. I don't know why I made Michael a woman in my reaction. And so Ava's memorial is apparently at Ryan's bar, and Delia thinks Morgan won't show up, and then Morgan shows up with the baby and Julian's there. And meanwhile, poor Charles is supposed to be near Rochester, and New York City's at least four to five hours away, but apparently it's five minutes, and I can't keep up with the geography and the time lapse. And then at the hospital in New York City, like, I had no interest between what Silas and Ava were saying. I don't know about you. I really don't. And then Ava sees Silas's phone when he goes to, like, talk to a nurse, and she sees that Avery's going to be at the memorial. And now Ava's in disguise and checks out her memorial just to look at Avery and everybody that loves her. And Silas kind of figures it out because Kiki's like, I texted you that Avery's going to be here. And Silas is like, I never got that text message. Who do you think did? Well, my eyebrows look like really weird on this uh, filter. So Jake, uh, he shoes away the commissioner's messenger. And then Carly figures out that they're... Oh, so then Carly, like grills Jake and Jake tells her everything eventually and uh you know what the strings are and Carly wants to hire Jake a lawyer so he can fight the charges against him but Jake doesn't even want the charges to be brought so he's going to go through with the commissioner's plan and then at Shriners Hospital for Children uh shout out to Shriners Hospitals for Children uh Sam shows up and Sam tries to see if Nicholas knows who Jake is and is Nick going to be a decent person and tell her and then Nicholas it looks like he might tell her at the end but judging by the promo he's probably going to get pulled away to do something more important <sighs> why why? Just give us the reveal already. All right. Um, that is it for today's General Hospital reaction. I hope uh, you like this video. If you do, please like it down in the like button.
Um, I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. And, uh, yeah. Bye.